So hence we did all these concepts on interest. So if we conclude we did the basics of interest, why interest is calculated to compensate for inflation rate, future value, opportunity cost and various other reasons. Simple interest, characteristics of simple interest, we know that the interest rate is fixed and the interest remains the same every year. Compound interest, it's a case wherein interest is added on interest. We calculated that. Then we did a combination of simple interest and compound interest. Then there is a change in interest rate. There were sums based on that that we did. Then effective rate of return, wherein whatever is the rate for the annual rate, which is the nominal rate, what will happen to it if compounding is done on a monthly basis or daily basis or half yearly basis or quarterly basis, keeping the same annual rate. In what way does the effective rate differ from the nominal rate? Then within the case of depreciation, it is almost like calculating amount for compound interest with a negative rate of interest or depreciation. Annuity, we took it up, both advanced at annuity as well as regular annuity. We calculated present value, future value, buying decision cases, checking the value of the present value of whatever is the investment made with the cost of the machinery, whether it is less or more, whether buying would be better or leasing would be better. And then we did some mistake problems, how to rectify mistakes or if the rectified value has risen from that, what can we find out, whether can we find out the amount or the sum that has been deposited or the period. So these were the various concepts of interest, which is a very important part of commercial arithmetic. I do hope that it was an effective session. Thank you very much.